Hey guys, uh, Mr. Barnes here again, bringing another physics video while my my little guy sleeps away, while Daddy uh, Daddy uh, tries to become YouTube famous. Um, so, a lot of people have asked me this question before, so I thought I'd make a little short little video on it. Uh, what happens to an alpha particle when it when it actually goes through a magnetic field? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what an alpha particle is. An alpha particle is a helium nucleus, essentially. So it has two protons, two protons, and two neutrons. It has a plus two charge. All right, so it has a plus two charge. So it's positive. That's what we have to essentially consider. So if I have a magnetic field, and let's just make this fairly simple. If I have a magnetic field that's going into the page, so represented by the x's. So you can sort of picture it as, as it's like a field that's going into the page like this. And I have an alpha particle down here. So, and he is going this way towards the field. So it looks like a fish is going towards the field, essentially. Yeah, so if you don't know what the symbol for alpha is, it's just a, it's just a Jesus fish. All right, so we have to remember our left-hand rule. So, uh... A lot of times people might use a right hand rule for this, but I'm, a, I'm the type of uh, physics teacher that makes my students always use left hand rules. And uh, they just have to know the difference between what happens to a proton and what happens to an electron. Essentially this is what the difference is. This is just two protons, so it's no different. So if I have this guy going through the magnetic field like this, I have to direct my hand in that direction. So my thumb is the direction of the guy. My fingers point into the page. So the, you can sort of picture my hand being pointed this way. And then I turn it to the direction of the, um, the fish going into the field, the alpha particle. So my thumb points to the direction of the alpha particle. My hands are pointing directly into the page. So normally, it would be my palm that tells me what happens to the electron. So if this was an electron, it would shoot off to the right. Or if it was a beta particle, it would shoot to the right. Beta particles have a negative charge, where a proton does the opposite of what an electron is going to do. So an electron is going to be like the back of my hand, and it's actually going to go to the left. So it's going to go up like this, there's going to be a force on it, and it's going to shoot this way. And we, of course we know what actually would happen is that it would actually enter, as long as it's entering at a 90 degree angle, it would enter UCM, Uniform Circular Motion. So it enters this field and it immediately gets pushed to the left and then just you know it kind of keeps rotating around and gets caught in this field so it comes in at a 90 degree angle perpendicular and shoots to the field so hopefully that explains it's kind of hard to show you know the left hand rule but it's into the page point your thumb in the direction of the particle and then if it's an electron or if it's negative it goes from your palm if it's positive it comes from the back of your hand very simple alright guys hopefully this helps see you guys in class